This video is not sponsored by Deflector DC, um, but they are the number one choice in the UK for protective cases for all your carded and boxed figures. I've been using them for several months now and I wouldn't go anywhere else. So if you're in the UK and you need some cases to keep your figures looking pristine, then they are the they are the go-to guys, Deflector DC. And here we go. Here is my Masters of the Universe collection. We've got the Super 7 line on the left here. And then we've got the Mattel Origins line over here on the right. We're going for a bit of a closer look. So we've got, in no particular order, We've got Robot He-Man, Beast Man, Merman, Trapjaw, Man at Arms. Up here we've got He-Man and Skeletor. Sorry for the glare, but these cases, uh, these cases do shine quite a bit. So sorry about that. Um, we've got Evil Lynn, Teela, Prince Adam, Orko. Stratos and here we've got Frozen Teela it's one of the limited edition ones there, well I don't know if they're limited edition but there you go, Frozen Teela Shadow Weaver, one of my personal favourites awesome figure Buzz Off there, everyone loves a bit of Buzz Off she Ra there and Hordak and then moving down we've got the transforming He-Man which glows in the dark and then we've got Shadow Orko another variant Evil Seed Crystal Man at Arms an excellent variant there just see his moustache. Moustache. So that's a nice figure. And then the gold statue He-Man, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but there he is anyway. So that's the, that's the Super 7 line. Um, the only two I haven't got are Hero and Eldor. I haven't got those two, but I've got the rest of the the figures that were released before Super 7 lost the license. Uh, and then moving over, we've got this section here, which is all the Motu Origins. Again, in no particular order, we've got Battle Armor, He-Man and Skeletor. Clamp Champ, Ram Man, and moving down we've got Evil Lynn, the first release, Stratos, Hordak, Scareglow there, this is uh, one of the only ones I've got that are from the States, um, all the others as you see are the international versions. Um, but anyway, there's Faker, brilliant figure, love it. Check him out, being all fake. There he is. And Trap Jaw. And then going down, we've got the 2000X version of Evil Lynn, the variant there. That's, uh, I think that's Wave 5. Most recent wave, uh, He Man with the original head, vintage style head, Manny Faces, Beast Man, Triclops, and Roboto. There, coming down here, we've got Zodak, Fisto. First release of Merman, T 
Taylor Skeletor with the sort of vintage style head. It's not quite the same as a vintage style, but it's better than the um, than the first release of the Origins Skeletor, who was laughing at something apparently. Um, Merman, the Lords of Power version, excellent figure, really nice. We've got Ninja down here, Man at Arms, Shira, Orko, and then down here in the corner we've got He Man and Skeletor with the original Origins faces. I don't know if you can see those. But they are crap. There's laughing skeletal. Yeah, he man. Yeah. So that's all the origins figures. So there we go. A whole bunch of he man. And just for a little bonus, here is hundreds of Black Series. I won't show you all of these Black Series figures because they go four deep in these shelves. So there is there are a lot of them. I'll just move so we get out of the glare. We've got just a few here. As you can see, but it's all a bit glary, so we'll um, we'll move on from them, and we'll quickly have a look at the Ghostbusters figures that I've just got. These are the re-release ones from 2020, I believe, or something like that. Um, Vintage style re-release. We've got Stay Puff there and the Green Ghost, better known as Slimer. There, and then we've got Peter Bankman, Ray Stance, Egon Spengler, and Winston Zedmore. So that's a bit of a bonus. I've got those. I've got nowhere to put them at the moment, so they're just sitting on the floor. Um. As you can see, I'm pretty much running out of space here. I've just ordered Castle Greyskull um, from the Origins line, and that will probably be going up on top of the bookcase. Uh, sorry about this smudgy thing here. I don't know what that is. I've tried to get it off, but it's something inside my camera. So... I don't know what that is, sorry about that smudge. Um, but there you go. There's uh, a lot of a lot of action figures and a very shaky hand. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, before I go, a quick shout out to Brushstroke who inspired me to make this video showing off my Motu collection so I hope he's watching and I hope he find it, finds that interesting anyway I think my phone's about to die so uh, we'll sign off and we'll um, we'll leave it there thanks very much guys <coughs> he man